Camera one is taking a picture of something that's completely black and white. It's called a chip chart. That's an $800 chart. Why is it so damned expensive? Because it's very, very, very precise. And what we're going to do, it's, it's a logarithm for all the frequencies from pure white to pure black. Look at it on the scope. And you see, remember I told you, you can, after a while you get used to it, you can actually see on the scope what the picture is? See it? It's the same as those. The only difference is, remember, this is a logarithmic scale, so it's going up in value and down in value. <clears throat> it's not the real picture, it's the values. So, look what happens here. On this, because I do have pure white, and I do have pure black, I can calibrate this now to 100% white. The 100% white is the one on the far right on the top and the far left on the bottom. The one dead center is, it's almost impossible in a printing process to print the color black because black is actually all colors or no colors, depending on your point of view. So you can't really print black, so what they did was they glued a piece of black velvet on the center, which reflects the least amount of other colors. So what we've got there is not really a, a piece of black paint, it's a, a piece of black material. So that we can get 100% black right here. Right there. Now watch. Look at the blackest black, it's there at the bottom. You want that on the 7.5% line, right there. You want the brightest white, not way up high, but 100% white, right there. So the brightest white box, it's a little bit high, hang on, right there, is at 100%. Now, if you use a chip chart, that exposure is perfect. Here's another little trick. Since Erwin already showed you how to white balance, if there is no color in the picture, I can also use that chip chart to white balance. How's that possible? Because there's no color. There's only white and black, so I can use it as a source to white balance. Because what we're after in a white balance is pure white. Well, there it is. So all I have to do on these cameras is hit Auto white, which is right here. Auto white balance, AWB, watch. Oh, you won't see anything because it's already perfectly adjusted. But what's happening internally is, there we go. There's a slight shift, not much. Look how the boxes got sharper. Remember just a second ago they were kind of fuzzy? Well, when you get real sharp boxes like that, you know you have removed all of the color. So the auto white balance did make a difference. Um, what about the blacks? You guys know how to do the auto black, right? Mm -hmm. We showed you that? Black level? Yes, yeah. sir. It's just as important as the white level. We can do the same thing with a chip chart. Hit ABB for auto black balance. The iris will close completely and set that at 7.5%. Auto black balance, close the iris, set this at 7.5, no hands, automatic. Okay? See it? Now you've got a perfectly set up camera. So if we were really going into production, we would have all three cameras uh, go into that chart, and then we would hit auto white balance, auto white balance, auto white balance, set the white balance perfectly, hit auto black level, auto black level, camera two ought to be going down here, auto black level, and camera three, auto black balance, camera three will close down. When it's set, come back up again, you get your picture back, Good to go. Make sure your exposure is right, 100% on the whites. Right over here, look, look, look. 100% on the whites. 100%, because it's not a face, it's white. Okay? Black balance. Right there, that little, that little tiny one in the dead center, the bottom, 
right on the 7.5% line. Boom, we're done. So camera one set up. Now you gotta do that for camera two and camera three. Okay. Nice. And that is how you match your cameras. And that is what a shader does. Now we have some other electronics here at this workstation which we seldom use. I mentioned this to you on the first day, the IFB, interruptible fold back. This microphone goes to an earpiece so I can talk to talent, it's not even turned on. I can talk to talent um, A, talk to talent B, or talk to talent C, only them. Not the crew, nobody else in here, just talk to, you know, hey, speed it up, we gotta get out of the show, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, that kind of thing. Uh, and power for that's over here, by the way. So, um, if we need to, I don't usually turn on because the blue is, it bothers me for, I don't know why, but it does. So you hold this in, and the reason it's called interruptible foldback is because you're interrupting it. So you push that on, and it'll light up. While it's lit up, I'm, I can talk in the earpiece to talent one. I can talk to talent two. I can talk to talent three. Or if push comes to shove, and talk to all three at the same time. I, I only point that out because we seldom, seldom, seldom use it, but it's within this rack. So now you know what it is. But we just leave it off most of the time. Okay, so camera one, camera two, camera three. That's how you set them up, and that's all there is to it. No questions. Look at camera two. See how those boxes are all fuzzy mm. on the right-hand side? That tells me that camera has not been um, properly white balanced. This is important, because I can only do this once. Everybody get to where you can see that scope. See the stair step pattern there from the from the uh, from the chart on camera two, and you see how each stair step is fuzzy. It's not sharp. <coughs> okay, we're we're gonna hit the auto white balance. Watch them change. <coughs> Give it a second. There we are. So the signal is much sharper. It's not really in camera three, but we can try it with three. Let me, let me give it a shot. Auto white balance. Let's get the camera three. There it is in the center. I don't think you're gonna see much of a difference here, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. You see it sharpen? Didn't have anything to do with focus. It has to do with removing color from the picture. So we're all set. All three cameras are set. I can tell you right now, we screwed up camera two. Uh, look at, yeah, look at the color now. Okay, there's no color, there's very little color in camera two. Now compare that to the one that's on the air. Look at her face. So she's got nice flesh tones on that one on camera three. We pulled all our flesh tones out on camera two. So when you white balance, make sure that you're doing it on a white card or something that's pure black or pure white. Otherwise, you're going to screw up your white balance. Should be pure white or pure black. Okay? And Erwin will probably tell you, yeah, do it with a white card. Because that's what the industry does. Just use a white card. Uh, if you're going to be shooting faces, I don't know if he's taught you this trick yet or not, but if you're going to be shooting faces for the uh, portable kits, a lot of portable kits will have a white card in there, small one. But on the flip side, it'll be a little bit less white. Guess how much less white? 80% so you can set the faces. Oh, yeah, so it's 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 a hundred percent white minus twenty percent. So you said the face. Yeah. Check that next time you guys check out your, your uh, kits. Check the flip side of the hundred percent white card. You'll see it's eighty percent white for faces. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now that I've screwed that up, I have to fix it. Uh, never leave the studio messed up. So here's what I'm going to do uh, because who knows is going to come in just assume it's correct. Uh, I have to to repair that. So um, but class is over. So what I'm going to do is open the door to the classroom. You guys can go get your junk. Anybody who wants to stay and watch me rematch the three cameras, you're welcome to do it. So let's get people out of here who have to leave. I'm going to go open the door. If you want to stay and watch me, you can. Shutting down the Compix. Shut it down on the software. This is important. I don't want to save any of this. 
Uh, no. Okay, shut it down here. Now check it out. Okay, okay to stop. No, I don't want to save any changes. Go down here to the windows. Over here to shut down. And let it shut down. Don't use the power switch. Do we shut down audio or no? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and clean that up.